that's going to be a challenge for these guys. Either way, we get to stop theorycrafting. We're going to find out exactly what this is. And if anything is going to shake you from a slump to start an event at the PGL Major, it's going to be going up against your former teammate, your teammate who won a Grand Slam with you. And if that doesn't motivate Liquid, this little bit of a grudge match, because they want to be able to say at the end of this year, we beat Twist when it mattered. Keep in mind, this is the first best of three for Liquid in this event now, because they'll be into an elimination or advance. Those are where you get those, obviously, elimination in this case. Whereas FaZe saw one in the previous stage when they went three and zero from the challengers. Smoke's gonna go over, it's gonna be B Execute to start off this map. Rain's got the first shot, Grim to go down. Stewie almost forward fast enough to get ahead of Kerrigan. He's gotta be careful, Kerrigan. He's gotta get a reload in. Thankfully, Rain is able to swing back and save him. How is Stewie still alive? There's three players surrounding him. That buys so much space inside of the site that Fallen is able to put down the bomb as Bronchi will try and work back in. All three of them, in fact, going in that direction. The only one who's not is Olaf, who's back towards CT. On top of the box, though, it's Elise. He's got three and he's looking oh. for a fourth. That is incredible from him to win out the pistol for Liquid. That's magical. They need that from Elise. That's an ace as well in the pistol round. All five kills and it was looking shaky. Both teams some scrappy shots. I, I thought FaZe had the exact kills they would need to make that retake happen, but the X factor of Elise and that's what he can deliver for you. A pistol round right at the get-go, all five kills. Absolutely magnificent control of the Glock. I mean, that kill's huge. The kill Olaf Meister gets onto Naf at triple boxes, that's the one that I thought sealed it. Because Naf is the player who's peeking on contact. Naf is that follow-up player when Fallen, when Elise get into contact. Naf's supposed to be the one who's able to get a kill or two as people pay attention elsewhere. Him going down was actually massive for FaZe and they still couldn't make it work. That's two rounds in a row now. Grim has gone down first to just one bullet from his opposition. Rain in the pistol, now Kerrigan with the Deagle. And a MAC-10 is picked up for the phase side. Yeah, Grim's had a short affair in this match so far. It's all right, he can watch, he can learn, he can, he can get into this. Maybe watch Elysia's POV while he's sitting there in spec right now. Take some notes. Quietly creeping up banana, three players. Just this one Molotov and a smoke on rain to delay things. And Liquid Nate making no presence, no pressure across the map whatsoever. It's all down to this B hit. The Molotov surely is going to stall them out. I don't think they'll expect the smoke afterwards as well. So this could actually get a little bit dangerous for Liquid. They might have to force themselves through a smoke. Rain's coming around right now just to drop it in front of coffins. Stewie's going. Rain, he's aware. He's trying to play the smokes to his advantage, but he's so blind. He's still sitting inside of it. That's going to be a problem for them. Fallen's planting, literally <laughs> touching his kneecaps. He's done nothing about it. Brocky has Naf down. If Rain knew the bomb was there, just get on it. He could have tapped that and probably they wouldn't have heard it. It is a 10 second defuse, but that would have been, an, if ever, a chance for a ninja. That would have been it. However, that smoke had a timer and he may have been exposed a little bit late. He gets a kill instead. That'll favor Olaf to try and go for this as he uses the scout. Tag through the pillar actually does a little bit of damage with the scout. So Stewie hit up to 88. Nate probably oh, helps. Shit, but the deagle's even better. He's got this. He looks his back oh, away oh! to try and find the bomb and he returns the favor to Elise. That is an incredible shot. That is disgusting. Does he have it? I think this he's is, got it. I don't know if... Oh, he does. Ooh, oh, my right God, he does. I didn't think he did. When that went green... Oh, oh my God, Olaf. That's ridiculous. That is a clutch. Uh, you cannot lose as Team Liquid. The two-on-one. Elise misses a couple bullets, but you got to give props over to Olaf Meister. That transfer over, the, the aim flicking over with the Deagle onto Stewie, that shot is spectacular. He thought he was at Pillar the whole time. Absolutely beautiful. And a full 10 second diffuse on top of it. So look, that's one way if your phase throughout some of the struggles of this, remember, it's for them, the entire story coming into the major has been like, we are a different team when we're on land. We are a different team when the pressure's on because the experience that we have usually can carry us over most of our opponents, especially some of the younger opponents in this tournament. And Olaf delivering a performance like that is a good start. You have to be happy with that. I think Brokey gets caught with a little bit of a mouse wheel jump. Renaissance man, Olaf. Kerrigan's pushed down middle. Good information, but has to be somewhat concerned of the range issue, especially knowing that Elige has, okay, the M4. Never mind Kerrigan. He's got confidence today. We love when Kerrigan gets confident. I do, look, like I said, I want both these teams in front of the arena because it just, it's so classic in my mind to see these two teams on the stage. But I yeah. want to see Kerrigan really with a crowd. I mean, he loves hyping them up and getting into it in these situations. 
But it is going to be Naf left in now a one on three and hasn't been able to pick up anything. Just that Glock bomb down mid. Yeah, this round is over. Olaf, the Maestro, slides in behind again to make it now 2-1 for FaZe. What a turn of events. A 1v4 from Elyse in the pistol round. Up on top of the boxes to steal that away from FaZe. And then Olaf with a one versus two clutch and full 10 second defuse in the second round to rip everything away from Team Liquid. What a start to the game. Guns are out for both teams. AK-47's picked up by Liquid. Little bit of utility as well. Deep Molotov's down. And flashbangs through. That phase defense is gonna be forced away. So control of car goes over to Liquid. Decent amount of damage is done to Fallen and Stewie though. So they pay for the map control they've gotten. Hold the AKs for the entry. Flash goes off and they actually preemptively fire into it expecting a peek. That's gonna reveal that there's at least two guns absolutely waiting there, but they knew they lost banana. They won't be caught off by that. Good Molotov, or rather smoke in incendiary to be specific back over top. Now this is an old school boost to try and see above that smoke because obviously they're trying to retake banana at this point. So they wanna at least get vision. If they can't hold the positions, they can at least try and get a shot onto them if they retake it. And then we stagnate for a moment, but we've lost utility more than even the HP has fallen in Stewie. Like you say, it was costly. They've pulled some of that defensive utility out of the CTs. In fact, the only smoke that remains is on Olaf right now. Does that smoke have a gap toward library? It looked like it might, but it doesn't matter. Brocky's the first in line instead. He'll get Grim down. Yeah, Grim didn't even get a chance. We already touched on, he's... In the pistol in the second round, he got shut down before he could even fire a bullet. It happens again, but Broki, is gonna take that fight. He's gonna love that fight. Twist, saw oh, the peek out from Small Pit. Alish has that and the follow-up. Now they can wrap onto the bomb site. Olaf inside the pit. Yeah, call it all that experience. Call it that aim you had in the second round. Naf with a solid lurk as Olaf gets caught in a spray and FaZe can't do anything in this. It's gonna be tied up and these weapons have to be saved. Yeah, that's a risky spray, right? He knows he's pretty much alone at that point in time and he, he sprays are just gonna rush him down on the reload timing. His aim is not going to be able to set fast enough, and yeah, good look from that, yeah. as you say. So now, we get it tied up. Yeah, you get that kill, you get that first kill on Fawn a little bit quick if you're Olaf, and you can transfer over. You probably go for the follow-up kill as someone peeking exactly where Naf did, but yeah, when the spray gets that out of control, no chance to recover. Two to two. A slow crawl, a slow pinch on the A bomb site. It's Elyse with two huge frags on Rap side on Twist and Brokey to open things up. And that's got to make you happy if you're Liquid. Elise starting out with a good game. Eight kills, two deaths, including an ace in the pistol. Yeah, the ace in the pistol was spectacular. But I equally say that although Olaf didn't get an ace, the next round was every bit as good with that Deagle. Explosive start. You'd expect nothing less from players of this caliber and teams of this nature. Two teams fighting with their backs to the wall in this major. Winners of previous majors on both sides of the table. And a grudge match, as you say. Twist versus old team, and you're right. I highly expect that the each, each would want to beat the other going into what would be post-major era and probably a break between the two teams, but not sure when they'll see each other again at this point in time few events coming up, but not sure when the next one that's a LAN will be. Well, look, yeah, probably very few of them are going to be as meaningful in their minds as, as the major. Well, the yeah, first exactly. major in the two years. So, yeah, I think you'd trade wins and all the other ones if you could get it here and survive for a chance at the playoffs. Three defenders at the bomb site. One is boosted up. That's Twist. Kerrigan just having some delay tactics, delay tactics, dropping a smoke. Pretty standard stuff so far, but he'll be the rotator now as Twist is up on the flower pots and Liquid. After establishing banana control, gonna leave Grim there to hang on to it and start attacking the A bomb site. Grim backing away as it looks like they've made their decision. They want to end at the A site. Success in the previous round. What can they get here in round five? So Kerrigan's gonna hold the arch side of the brackets. Fallen is gotten all off down. That's oh my god, what a nade! 
from Brokey. I was going to say, that's Pit gone, but now Brokey's got the kill. He can rotate it over. Kerrigan's able to come back around, and the MP9 strikes. That is a phenomenally timed nade, and the damage done early on pays off for FaZe. Yeah, where did Kerrigan get the initial damage done to get that double kill with the grenade? That stopped everything. He must have sprayed through the smoke that we saw down from the, from the Archway yeah. side. Man, that, I mean, the, the kill that, that Fallen gets to open up the bomb site is, is like a little bit of a gift that you don't normally get in that scenario. So Liquid is probably feeling real, real good before that nade comes sailing in. Elise has already bought an AK-47. The only, hmm. I mean, he'll have utility. Stewie can pick one up. A right, he can go down to a glill if he wants nades. He's not. He's going to go for full head armor and AK-47. But investment across the board. Grim's going to be on a Mac-10, fallen likely down to a pistol with utility. So a little bit of supportive elements. But Liquid's not going to be able to do that slow kind of take control of banana, fall back and set up and execute at the eight bomb site. They don't have the utility for it. So we'll, we'll see what they decide to call. P250 on Fallen to emphasize the nades. Money's not good for FaZe, so even if Liquid can be dangerous in this round, get a couple, get three kills, get four kills, keep the money low, that'd be a victory of sorts as well. I was just wondering if it was a double nade, if Kerrigan actually naded through, and that was a set. Because it sounded like one explosion, but if they were thrown at the same time, because I didn't hear a lot of shots from Kerrigan, you're right, and it's tough for us to, di I apologize, but to discern all of that information while we're watching what's going on on the take toward, especially after Olaf goes down toward the A site. But either way, it was uh, well struck and well timed. I call it a Kobe, but that was a slam dunk, so that's a Shaq. Because <laughs> let's face it, Shaq, Shaq only like knows how to put the ball in if he's uh, like four inches from the hoop. Well, he is like 18 feet tall, so like, why not? Ooh, crossfire in mid, no utility used. Olaf's got a clear line of sight. Twist as well, nothing to bother him. And that might just be the round. Stewie's going to come up and try and handle it. But even if he wins that battle against Twist, Olaf on the other side was surely going to trade him off. Now it's Fallen's turn to test the waters. He gets a kill, and Brokey's going to step up to the plate, and it is an absolute massacre up mid. Yeah, they do get one kill, but that is all. As they paced their peaks and had some smokes to isolate to work with. But overall, it's going to be FaZe now leading 4-2. to two. And no bomb plant in that round with only now the second la round loss bonus, so 1,900 as opposed to the 1,400. They're not going to uh, be able to do too, too much in terms of buying in this round. So it should be a phase. I say it should be. Lord knows with teams like this. But it should be uh, an extension of three rounds in the lead at the end of this. Olaf's going to be the one to peek it directly, and Fallen does have a P250. Brokey's going to get aggressive, and they're already in by the... Ooh, logs. That looked like a panic snap, and he still hit the headshot. I'll call that luck. You create your own <laughs> luck, but I'm going to call that a little bit of luck on his side right there. Yeah. Counter-Strike God's giving Brokey a little bit, a little bit of favor. That's pure Grim. SMG RNG, let's be honest. Grim has had such a sad start to this game. Poor guy. He has, hasn't he? Yeah, he's just gotten wrecked a few times with no ability. And you got to like this aggression in rounds where they know they have such a massive advantage. And again, all five players survive. Money is blowing up for the phase defense. Liquid struggling to get started in this game. Remember, they did win the pistol as well. It's a three round lead for phase. They're looking real comfortable. And the, the half gets really hard for Liquid now. Haven't found a recipe for success really that they can rely on. Remember, the one gun round they did win was wrapping. Grim got eliminated first. Elise was able to follow up with two kills, and they were able to wrap onto that eight bomb site. But now you're in a situation where you got to win two or three rounds in a row to take all the money away from FaZe to put them at that breaking point. And depending on how FaZe chooses to save and play the economy game, it could be much, 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 much more than that as well. Just to note, there is one absentee right now on Liquid that is notable. Not talking about Adren, by the way. He's the coach at home expecting a child, so congratulations to him. Talking about that man right there, though, Naf. That's only his second kill in the game, and they need him to be involved. They need him to step up. He has had a few poor performances so far in this Legend Stage 4 Liquid. He did, of course, in their win, look pretty good, but in the losses, really wasn't there. So uh, definitely a key factor for them, and a good opening pick this time. You can already see the, the damage and the contribution he can have. Uh, meanwhile, oh, that's not going to go as well. Grim gets payback for what happened to him last round. Similar snap over to find Kerrigan up at the tree. Fallen will jump over the sandbags with a smoke down on Banana, and they're actually going to concede to this and try and gamble it. If it yep. goes A, great. They're all there. If it goes B, probably a save. Okay, Brokey is considering going back. They've got enough money that maybe he tries to hold this. I think he's just going to drop the utility. 
He's just going to drop the utility in the choke point to try and funnel Liquid towards that eight bomb site where there is a stack. I think the smoke and the follow-up Molotov uh, might give away the game a little bit. But this is what I meant by, by FaZe playing the economy game, right? Liquid's going to win this round, but they're not going to take a whole lot in terms of money. Just two weapons away, two rebuys for the FaZe side of things. With this kind of a stack, FaZe can preserve their economy, make sure they can continue to fight on the CT side. And unfortunately for FaZe, it's uh, Liquid going away from the stack. Free B bomb site, free plant, and a free third round. I, I admire it. It's early enough in the game that, you know, I've seen uh, certain people be pacifists too often when it matters, <clears throat> James. Um, but, you know, it's it, it, this early in the game when you're yeah. trying to keep the economy intact, it's not the worst thing in the world. So, yeah, Faye's going to play this out, make things more difficult for Liquid in the stretch. In the stretch? On the stretch. On the stretch. Down the stretch. Down the stretch. I need to stretch. I have the worst hamstrings in the world. Just fun fact. Thought everyone should know. Always got to treat the hammies well. Cut down to a two-round lead. And it'll be interesting now to see if FaZe wants to bring out an AWP. They have the money for it. Brokey could pass the M4 over to a teammate who needs a buy and pick one up himself. And that is going to be exactly what happens. M4 passed over to Rain. Twist looking focused against his old teammates. And a connection problem. Well, this is maybe this is perfect, Jason. This is, you know what, everyone at home, I just said it, let's all do a stretch. Are you ready? Let's, let's stand up, everyone up. Jason, I'm looking at you. I'm up, dog. We'll do a little hamstrings. Okay, I might actually pull my hamstrings. Keep going, Jason. This is that this is that wild pistol round from Elige. One versus four. All headshots. The final one at range as well. Absolutely brutal. But look at these kills we're going to see from Olaf Meister in the one versus two. That's spectacular. This, you can see Elige misses a couple bullets. They whiz past him. I think probably knowing Elige, 99 out of 100 times, that's a kill. Unfortunately, an important moment is the one time it's not. And Olaf capitalizes. So pretty rough start. This could be a completely different game if uh, Liquid is able to convert that 2v1 in the second round. That hurt, actually. Now I know why I don't stretch. That shot from... Look, I, I didn't hype it because it was just like, come on. It was, you know, a ridiculous shot. You love to see it. But you not if be you're grim. You gotta be honest. Yeah, not if you're grim. That bullet coming toward your face, probably not ideal. But uh, yeah, I didn't want to... <laughs> What, what do you say about those ones, right, Jason? We just yeah. sit and... All right, cool. That yeah. was... This round was unreal from... Look, he looks away. You're right. He thought he was at pillar, but either way, still hits the shot. So we'll be a second or two with this one. As we try and await the connection issues to be resolved. Uh, I'm not sure, and I, maybe I'm getting a little far ahead and I don't want to get anyone into trouble, but if this is concurrent with what's going on in Stockholm, or maybe if it's just on our end and, and uh, our ability to reach them. Uh, but we're going to join us back in the studio. It's Lumberjack Day. Yesterday was Halloween, um, and uh, today's Lumberjack Day. Yeah, we did our flat flannel today. Wow, plaid flannel. So he kind of has to compliment a liege. Yeah, Gr Grim's got the skill set. I think more than anything, he's. I think he's kind of struggled to find some comfort. And and, and look, when you when you have, um, when you're given an interview saying you're still not on the same page, I think that that probably affects someone like Grim a little bit more, who's also trying to catch up in terms of uh, in terms of the increased level of competition. So he's taking a little bit longer, I think, than Liquid would like to bring along as a player. But he's obviously very very talented and very skilled. Stewie's going to lead the way. Kerrigan up top. He's got the first good trade from Grim. A lot of damage dealt to Grim, and now Fallen as he steps into the Molotov. Half HP for Fallen with the AWP. Looking for any kind of a repeak, and FaZe has already smoked off the choke point. Swapping over some utility, they'll boost Twist up. That'll give Rain a chance to drop down an additional smoke. Gap in that smoke, he's going to preemptively try and spray into it. Bait out the fact that he is solo at CT, and perhaps even panicking, trying to do everything to hold them off, and... Give twists to fighting chance when they walk, walk in that, to that direction. Especially if he's there and fades. If they put a single smoke out and he's like, oh, I've got to rotate back to ruins. Twist could very easily be overlooked in that situation. And then the round would be in ruins, Jason. Sort of like my sex life. <laughs> Shambles. Not, not that you were asking. No, but it's always good to have an update. 
Make sure I'm still alive. Make sure you're still kicking. Warm-blooded man. Naf and Alij gonna lead the way. Rain coming through, but ooh, that could be a little bit of a bait for this boost. They still haven't cleared it. Naf, you said his name. That's the hard check. Twist holding down through the smoke, and nobody can connect. Alij gets away. Twist gets away. The nade oh. right on top. Alij goes down. It was perfect. Brokey. All right, I'm gonna call him Brocky. He's the Pokemon master with these Pokeballs. He's taking everyone down today on the nades. But Grim trying to get back through the smoke. The round already over. He needs to keep this AK. They know he's there. He goes down after the time. No bomb plant, and that is going to make things grim. However, he's not that far behind on money, despite that, actually. 1,700. Yeah, that but that's, tough that's, situation. that's an indictment of the liquid economy as a whole. So, yeah, it's not looking too pretty, and what a perfect nade. That's, that's now two rounds. Phase's HE utility has put a stop to some of the advantage that seemed like Team Liquid was going to have. Four-round lead for Liquid. Or, excuse me, for phase. Three nade kills from Brokey right now, and he sits with a total of ten in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the map so far. Leads the way for phase, but man, yeah, the utility is massive. He's timing these very well. This one I don't think is going to get any kills because uh, no one's really been hit too hard, but without the armor, Grim tanks that. Plus, I think he took a tick from the Molotov on top of it, so he goes down to 40 HP. Olaf, be be o Olaf? Was he expecting someone else to jump wide? I don't know, but this gets dangerous. Snap with a kill and pity gets the follow up. And this is a very weird round for Liquid to win. Although so many bodies jumped into the pit and Kerrigan, he can cut them off. Look, there's no armor on these players. This is very recoverable. Two players in lane. That smoke's not going to cover everything. And they're just playing hot potato with the bomb. Kerrigan is certainly put oh, in the no. play, but misses the chance. Good find from Naf. Third kill and a much needed one, and it's all down to rain. He might just want to grab the op and save. Kerrigan, he, he had the chance to drop that bomb again. That would have almost secured the round. The problem is then he chased it knowing what the situation was, and that just led to his death, and it is all on rain. What a situation to turn this in. I, that almost looked like Olaf's mouse was dying or came off the mouse pad. Stewie, what a shot to close it with the Deagle. Rain goes down, and it's Liquid that's going to now find their fourth round in the most unusual of circumstances. Yeah, I, I have no idea what happened there. I have no idea what happened in that round. I, I have no clue how Olaf just didn't wasn't able to handle that. That's so such an odd looking way to get an entry. I'd love to hear okay, this is Naf. I was gonna say I'd love to see Olaf's perspective in the pit, because like he knew there was a player above him. Surely he hears him jumping on the balcony. Maybe he's trying to look to the right, expecting a second player to drop, but like he didn't even look up and then it, it, it looked like he couldn't move. Like I, that's why I thought maybe there was a mouse issue, but no technical uh, technical timeout, so obviously things are fine. I'm not sure. I have to ask him maybe after this if we get the chance. Oh, through the Molotovs. That's an easy double kill for Rain. So much utility down Banana. That's two huge bodies for Team Liquid. That's a lot of the map that they want to take. And so quickly after winning a, a miraculous round like that, just giving away a couple of kills early. And FaZe with a huge advantage. Aggressive down Banana. And again, aggressive setup lane and wrap side. And this setup demolished them earlier. It's going to continue here. Elige looking left. And Olaf's got an easy frag from the right. Crossfire still established in the bait play at quad right now as Twist will come out after Olaf gets the kill, but Nav comes back around and returns the favor from two rounds ago. Grabs the AWP, but he's in a one on three and 54 seconds. Bomb is in his hands, so we can make something of this. And the rotation towards apartments would actually negate the fact that there is a player pushed up toward the cubby, but he's making too much noise. Brokey's underneath, shot through the balcony, will not land. They're both on an op right now, so Brokey electing to Ooh. keep the pistol out instead to just try and bait Kerrigan around, and the pistol gets the kill. Yeah, Naf just hoping for a one-hit wonder on that occasion, and it's now 8-4. to four. He actually tagged him through the wall as well, just couldn't find the follow-up to complete the kill. As close, it seemed, through the floor of the balcony. Liquid in an odd money situation again. Fallen and, and Naf had quite a bit of money. Everyone else stuck right around 2,000. So I think Naf has picked up a hero AK-47. Fallen going to save his money. No, excuse me. He's going to go down to Deagle Armor. But really looking at Naf to create something for you. This is still pretty salvageable for Team Liquid. Three rounds left in the half. And if they can win this one or keep the money low, maybe they... Maybe they just get like a two for one in the next round. Apparently, Fury has shown up in this event now as it's 10 to two for them over Entropic. Ooh, and Entropic was looking great. 
That's on Vertigo. Yeah, I, w I actually picked Entropic in that one. I think most of us did. I did too. My predictions went out the window yesterday. So I like all that. Like I was thinking, like I'm doing really good here. Yeah, you were riding the high, I'm killing it. And I think I'm probably in, like last after yesterday. I don't even want to know. What, I think I got like two right. The good news is, Matt, I don't think they're keeping track for the whole event. It's just day to day. Yeah, but I was I was gonna add them up and just rub it in. So now okay. I can't. You know. Yeah, now you definitely can. Yeah, I was gonna flex. Well, FaZe is flexing at the moment. Eight to four scoreline. Again, against uh, mostly pistols. I think they've had three of these rounds in this half, so hasn't been the most difficult half for them to run up the scoreboard. Naf low HP with that AK-47. Liquid content to grab that one kill on Rap side. A two-for-one trade for Twist. He's got 10 kills against his former team. And he just got a collateral. He just hit Elyse and Naf. We didn't see it because they lined up coming around that side. That was actually a spectacular double for Roki yet again uh, as Olaf was stoic and staying by the nade. It was the op that got the double. Would have been great to see that from that perspective. Hard to follow everything because Olaf was certainly the one in the hot seat, but the support was there and it's now nine to four, four phase. As we look back at Twist's early performance in the rounds. Here it is, this surely is it. Oh yeah, beautiful. Elyse and Naf both go down. All right, Liquid at four. You'd like to get one of these last two, at least one of the last two. Kerrigan's gonna get tagged up through the wall as he pushes with an ADP double off setup for the CT side. The flick down isn't gonna make it. Nade to make sure Naf can't chase him. And that should be Liquid with the information. Double AWP, one in halls, one just peeked down mid. And even you could go beyond that and say that the obvious thing that happens after this is the rotation. So Brokey goes back over toward B. Yep. You can. It gives a bit of shadow of a doubt, but Liquid's going to expect that this could be here still. And they'll play top mid accordingly as well, so they really have to dissect this map. Well, that's the next. That, this is the next danger point. The, the aggressive push. Nice oh. flashbang. Perfect timing from Brokey. Grim goes down. They didn't anticipate the rotation, and Grim again is shut down on any kind of an attempt to take banana control. Now the option is, do you take the AWP and go back toward the arch, go back toward library, and bring that double AWP back to play on the A site and keep them guessing the entire time? It's difficult. You could also have Rain drop the smoke to the AWPer and leave an AWP there alone, but I think FaZe is saying, you know what, percentage-wise, in a five, or in a four on five, T-sides like to end at the B bomb site. It can be an easy set piece. There's only two choke points that you really, you only need two smokes at Coffins and CT, the CT choke point to make this hit happen. Kerrigan's top middle as well and hasn't seen any activity, so unless yeah. they're in the apartment, they know they're in banana and they've already got one kill on that side as rain goes through the smoke. It's Stewie that will respawn. This puts Brokey back in the site. Man, he is looking good on the AWP. He finds Fall in, nearly gets the third, but Naf is all by his lonesome and twist, just letting him stop and slow down and making sure his old friend, his old pal, is certainly dead as he fires into the ground. Yeah, making sure he's not going to rise up like some kind of zombie. Just ensuring the kill. Honestly, man, we're almost in the apocalypse right now, so uh, it wouldn't Get surprise me. Stock up on your toilet paper. 10 to 4. Thing is, right, everyone stocks up on toilet paper, but everyone's working from home. Just take a shower. Okay. You know, if, you, if that, spread the toilet paper out evenly. Yeah. Just take a shower. Especially if you can't spare a square. Run boost. Roki sees nothing, but going to go back for a follow-up peek. Look at the weapons that Liquid have to fight with. Two MAC-10s, two pistols. That nade catches the lip of the doorway and falls a bit short. Still does decent damage. Olaf's going to toss one out in return. To note as well, this is Liquid's pick. Mirage is next. We've seen some... Remarkable games from Liquid on Mirage over the years, and some heartbreak also. I'll see if Olaf can do a little bit better this time holding off. Oh, no, he's going to have to be forced off that angle. Surely falls off. They hear that as well. I was going to say, yep, the thud on the ground. They know he's there now. Absolutely. So they're going to try and wrap from both positions and cut him off. Puts more pressure again on Brokey with the AWP, but he's looked so good. Look how close he is. This time, though, holds his nerve. Didn't even play the pit. Knew that he was going in that direction and had a shot to line up in front of him, and he hits another, but Stewie takes Twist down. Brokey gets a little bit of help from Rain because I dare say he was outpositioned and in an awkward situation with the op. Now he knows Elysia's toward the pit. They try and swing on each other, and it's the broken wall in which he'll play as the Deagle tries to get the shots off. Keep in mind that Kerrigan is rotating this whole time, and he's going to try and sneak toward Elise, who stares that direction, but the AK prevails 11-4 for FaZe. Yeah, some nice shots from Kerrigan in this game, even though he doesn't have a whole lot of kills to his name. 11-2-4.
A big lead for FaZe, but these CT sides have been strong, so we'll see what Liquid's got when they switch over. Uh, but, I mean, really, FaZe does a great job controlling Banana for the majority of this game. Whenever they fought for it and wanted it, it seemed like they could at least find one kill, sometimes two. Liquid had a couple of those slow contact plays up mid, and the crossfires at brackets for FaZe were very effective. And I think the stunning thing is obviously what really seems to have set the tone for this half is the second round win from FaZe. Liquid taking the pistol, and then Olaf winning a one versus two. Looking calm and collected. Yeah, absolutely. They are so far. And uh, similar scoreline at half on the other stream. So it's four to 11 in favor of Furia again. That's going on in the A stream. You can keep track of that. I won't update you each and every round. As Elise goes down middle to try and get the fight early. It's Stewie that responds. Trades back and forth, though. Nath has twists in that... Canuck battle. You'd think I would add something more prepared than that. Yeah. Some, some alliteration. I would have. Clash of the Canucks. Clash of the Canadians. But it is uh, Kerrigan that found one and actually has two kills in this round, but in response specifically as Rain will take out Stewie. Now it's FaZe that have the advantage, and they've got the USPs as well at the bottom side of the banana, which gives them the position. But look at this flank right now from Olaf. He's managed to go up, get by the arch, and he's far enough in CT that actually Naf just took a look in that direction and didn't see him. So he is a huge, huge problem right now for Fallen. Oh, yeah. I, I don't even... He's not even really a problem. He's just going to get the kill. Fallen has no idea he's even here. He's never going to check it, ever. Olaf taking his time, making sure he gets a little bit close to secure the kill and the headshot, and that gives the escape route to Kerrigan. Naf's going to have to push down mid. Would love to find a kit on the way. I think it was on Fallen, so there it, it should be right there. The, the interesting thing is that's when you know they're playing to win, right? So many players might go for the knife and the pistol, get that extra bit of money. Olaf says, I don't care. Let's just get the kill. Get that bomb in here quicker because Naf's also going to be moving around the map, and they don't want to let him get too close either as the bomb planted. As you say, kit has been picked up, but he has no utility. In fact, no one does at this point. This is a straight duel, and he looks toward ruins. They double peek. No one's hitting the shots yet. Naf tries to get his head down. A bit too awkward at that point, and the body shots will eventually come through. Kerrigan gets his third kill in the rounds, and I have to say that was a brilliant flank from Olaf. Yeah, that was great. Slipping the net, slipping in when the when the defense starts thinning out, you know there's going to be a gap somewhere, and Olaf just keeps testing it and finds a free avenue to wrap around the B bomb site. Eight round lead now for FaZe. Stewie with the Deagle wants to hit a one tap. It's Kerrigan that wants to go up. Molotov already down at the barrels. Flash and a Molotov that goes deep. That forces Stewie out. What a shot he hits though. And look at the stack that's behind them. Baits Kerrigan right into it as he chases it down. So advantage Liquid on a brilliant Deagle shot. Well, I, if you're liquid in this round, this is the best you could hope for. One for two. And you'd gladly take this scenario and play it out. One in pit, that's at the broken wall. You've got a liege up on the balcony. Fallen is going to get a spot, but there's no way he gets away. Even if he was able to just fall back, they were going to be able to chase that down. Elyse with the dink needs to hide over in the pit. These USPs have to do work, but Grim hasn't been put into play quite yet. And now, yeah, Olaf's going to check for that. Good job from FaZe, neutralizing all the danger in the round. They'll have a 13th. They're marching towards a very quick map one victory. And as you mentioned, this is Liquid's pick. Next up is Mirage. Yep, pretty standard maps, more traditional this time. We've been talking about the uh, sort of map pool and how there's a bit more diversity in it now in the style. And we're seeing Nuke a lot more commonly, but Vertigo and Ancient have certainly had their fair share of play. More so, interestingly enough on that note, as Naf goes down at the end of the round, uh, more so in the Legend stage than the Challenger stage. And formerly, when the circuit was so jammed pack and the top teams kind of were going event to event and didn't have time to boot camp as much uh, and learn a new map, we saw the Tier 2 teams, Tier 3 teams be the first to start to play those maps. And that was kind of their, you know, their ace in the sleeve when they came out in events like this, but not this time. Everyone seems to, at the top level, be ready to play Ancient. Yeah. for the most part. Twist with the deep Molotov. Here we go. 
Faze not slowing down. Elise a little bit blind. The smoke might slow them. Oh, Rain almost found an opening. He almost was able to pressure that on the hate cart. I don't know if Faze wants to keep this up. A second salvo of grenades. A second gaggle. And here we go, Elise Grim fallen. They're all gonna get kills, and that's a good, cold, hard stop for Liquid, and that's gotta feel good. First gun round in the second half to get your feet planted on defense. All five players survive. And FaZe really wanted to change the tempo up, or set the pace, rather, for the T side, and catch Liquid off guard in the first gun round really early. As it's 13 to five. Liquid trying to hold on in this one. We're looking at the FaZe Clan side of things. Elige is the one to be first out of spawn. He's got the quick play to try and get toward middle. M4. Incendiary to hold them off on the right side of the stairs. He's not going to push all the way down. Kerrigan back to the Deagle already. He's blinded off and unfortunately couldn't hit the anticipation shots. And that leaves Stewie enough time to realize not only was the animation showing it, but he was fully blinded and took his time so as not to miss. So Liquid again with a man advantage. Rain's turn with the Deagle to try and open something up. Double play position here to try and get a liege out, but both of them have now been spotted. Nade. Doesn't do a whole lot. Rain took the brunt of it, but it bounced by the others far enough, so as the bullets actually is where their wounds came from. Fallen still holding off. Though in the arches, both players continue to rotate back around each other, and Elise has actually gone all the way over to the balcony. I think, oh, he did. Olaf just saw him going that direction, so he knows he hasn't gone all the way through to the doorway. But he's dropped back down, and he'll hold the sight instead. So passive from Elise. He's fallen weights. Another one. Bomb as well. And now Elise strikes with that information. So well held from Liquid. Two rounds in a row that all five have stayed alive. This is good money. Yeah, couldn't have gone better to stabilize early in the second half. Still a bit of a way to go. Seven rounds back for Team Liquid. And this time it's not against those pistols and deagles. Brokey's got 20 kills heading into round number 20. And on the other side of things for Team Liquid, it is Elise with 16 frags leading the way. And here we go. The biggest test for Team Liquid so far since they've gotten the rifles in their hands. Deep smoke and half wall Molotov. Grim's gonna get boosted up. And FaZe just not even messing with Banana early on. Not even messing with all the grenades and Molotovs. Don't want to take any of that early damage. Content to go into the middle stages of this half with all their HP. Stewie and Naf to defend the B bombsite after dumping some of the damaging utility. Backing away and playing it passive inside of the B bombsite. Rain inside the boiler doorway will bounce a smoke that goes over and covers off Cubby so he can work his position with a little more confidence that he doesn't have someone staring the other side of his head. Down when they walk out. Oh, goodness me, Rain. That is an entry. He's not done there. He has to go to the pistol, but he knows he's hurt fallen and he bursts it because he knows the damage is set. That's more like it from Rain. That's what we're used to seeing from him back in the day. 16 kills as he finds somewhere to go for Liquid. At least Kerrigan's Kerrigan still faking yeah. at the B bomb site. <laughs> Shout out to him. Not even necessary. Three on two. I I can't remember the last time I've seen an entry like that with a stack like that at quad. What a beautiful transfer for Rain. If we get that on replay, it's gonna be absolutely glorious to see. That's that's actually exceptional because it was a stack I think he, quad. We started up get top and went down low on the second one, didn't he? Or was it the other way? Uh, honestly, it happened so quickly. <laughs> no. uh, but the thing is, they got the kills behind him and he still held his nerve. That's so mental. I think Elise was the second player. I think it was Grim up top who went down first, and, and he didn't even have a chance. The transfer down was so quick. Elise was just barely swinging out to take the fight. Disgusting stuff from Rain. 14th round from FaZe. They're going to be two away from kicking this series off up one map to nothing. Perfect position to find themselves, get that pressure onto Liquid more effectively. And again, a Dust 2 is the third map. Mirage is next. This is it, Jason. This is what you wanted to see. We saw him smoke it out. He did go up first. Yep. Oh, that transfer as he pulls down. And he does so much damage to Kerrigan. He knows he's low. I love that he went burst Glock, let alone Glock yeah, at all. He's close up as well. He's just like, I'm going to make sure I clean up, clean up this kill. Sick gloves, too. Get the, get the shotgun spread on this Glock. I have said uh, on a numerous amount of occasions that I wish uh, Burst Fire was more relevant again, because I think the FAMAS would be dope. 
Yeah, that could be interesting. Although that feels like something that you could also just make entirely too powerful if you if you tweak yes. it the wrong way. Yes, agreed. So that doesn't seem to be a priority at the moment for the devs. Maybe maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll get that burst fire Fomus back. By virtue of Liquid winning a couple of rounds with so many players alive, as you as you touched on, the, their money was in a pretty healthy place to sustain a loss like that. It's just, you know, you, you got to go on a little bit of streak here if you're Liquid before FaZe managed to get up to 15. You'd want to close the gap a bit more. You don't want to be staring at a nine-round comeback. Fallen getting his position with the AWP just in the nick of time as they start to go over toward B. But he's <gasps> baited out. All right, that is a pretty risky play. Fallen misses the shot and says, ah, I'll just take my lance and spear you on the way through. But they don't. They fall off of it and no one can capitalize. Yeah, but look at the immediate call. That's Kerrigan as well. The in-game leader, he aggressed upon. He said, okay, the off is going to be here. The third player to come over to the B bomb site. Let's start pressuring A. Let's get up there quick. And already, Fallen's on the rotation back, but he might get cut off by Olaf. Kerrigan is going to try an entry rain as well. There's a leash. He gets traded off. Grim hasn't been able to be put into play. He's covered by smoke and Rain's got control of Graveyard. Over the top, here we go. Rain continues continues his tear. And the flash out, we saw how quickly the smokes went in to cover the front of library, but that flash doesn't work. Ooh. Rain actually blinded his teammate. They couldn't plant the bomb, and Naf takes full advantage of it to get both. That's the kind of impact you need Naf to have. Coming in, a hectic situation, and being one to turn the tides. He just had a pretty dirty transfer of his own. First the player inside the site, and then Rain down in pit. Well done, and impressive that Liquid's able to hold onto that. That's a very powerful hit from FaZe at a very awkward timing as well. You can see Rain, the work he did, you talked about it. He got up in toward Graveyard. But unfortunately, the only thing he really did wrong in this situation was completely blind his teammate on the site. That just let Naf walk Ooh. around. That is a sick transfer, to be fair, as he absolutely annihilates Rain. Elige, meanwhile, down middle, putting Utility into position, and it's back to pistols again. Stewie capitalizes as they knew they were pressured. And this is what Liquid needs to get back into the game, and that's why even the risky play from Fallen to step up to the plate after missing a shot previous round, you want to see Liquid start making those assertive plays, that sending the message that they're going to be they're they're going to be aggressively trying to stop the map control, willing to fight back and willing to prevent Phase from getting whatever they want. And even more importantly than than them making those decisions is, is winning those fights as well. Ali's going to take a bit of a tag. He's going to back away after that. 59 HP, fallen. They'd love that op to catch fire here in the second half. He's got his first kill of the round on Olaf Meister. Nice shot from Fallen as he falls back inside of the library. He's not going to be done there either. Got the first player, and Elise was there to support. Just to make sure. So as you say, a round Liquid needed. And certainly very good in these anti-eco situations because that's now the third round that Liquid have had five players stay alive. So again, they'll build that money back up with that. As we look at uh, Young Stu. At what point are they no longer young? You know, he's not young, but he's always going to be young, Stu, isn't he? Well, it's because we're old. It's because we're old. Weird how that works. Deep Molotov for Fallen. And FaZe, again, really not messing with Banana. Really not messing too much with this early utility dump that they know Liquid like to do. Stewie's got great positioning, though. Held off by the Molotov for the moment. Fallen's going to rotate it back because they'll try and fortify the A side a little bit more, Elige, with the skybox nade that bounces toward the top of middle, and they're not quite close enough for it to have any impact at all. Grim's going to play where we saw Olaf falter on two occasions toward the balcony. He was quite outdone by utility, and one peculiar round that I still want to know what happened, but Grim is a little bit better positioned and with less utility in front of him. He does get one, but not enough to swing because Kerrigan had the angle from below. Fallen hits the shot of the AWP as Elise jumps back down off the box, and that AWP has not been smoked off, or at least it is now, but it's a little bit too late, and he's already spotted Olaf as well with the smoke leaving a gap. Now, the problem is he's on an AWP. He's a little bit worried to go around the corner, and when he decides he probably should give it a peek, that's exactly when Olaf comes back in, and it's again all on NAF. We saw him with the lovely two kills on the site previously, but now they're more split up, and Olaf cuts the entire wall on rotations. It's 15 rounds for FaZe. God, Olaf has had some, some massive impact in this game. What an awkward position for Fallen to be in, trying to hunt down Olaf in the arches, but... Oh boy, uh, Olaf with 18 kills, looking good. Brokey still on 20, since I... Uh, for the past, what, four or five rounds almost. Again. Fallen, like, had 
it, that, that's so frustrating because he has so much information and he just wants to hold the position on the off, but it's like the, exactly the wrong gun for that situation. And 13 HP as well. Like, you, you had to be perfect. Well, Liquid now need to win seven in a row. Hit of weaker weapons and a hole set up for the defense. Rain might challenge it. Just giving some sound cues. Molotov to force Fallen away. Oh, uh, this positioning. They're one. not going to clear it either. There goes Grim. Elige is up next, and wow. he goes down as well. Olaf, another stellar round of impact. And oh, unfortunately, Kerrigan takes out the nade. That would have been perfect. He had the read, and Olaf's going to back away. You could see they wanted to press the issue, but that one kill onto Kerrigan forces them into a new idea. Bomb is still at the base of Banana. Yeah, Kerrigan gets that kill rather than going down, and immediately they take the site. Now it's actually back to a three on three. If Stewie finds another kill on Rain, because the T's had to reset, readapt, and find openings, which Twist does on Nap. The amount of kills they've had back and forth between each other is significant in this game, and absolutely it's something to note as we talked about the rivalry of Twist going against his old team. But with this round, his old team's going to go down a map if FaZe are able to collect. Twist holding now with the op. Low HP, they swap it over, but he can't hit the shot onto Stewie. Man, look how much pressure this is putting on Liquid individuals. Fallen and Stewie uh, have to win this round. You cannot just gamble, stack a bombsite, and pray they come here. It's got to be an incredible hold in a one-on-three for Stewie or an incredible hold in a one-on-three for Fallen. They have to stay split. Careful with the utility. Not to have a gun out right now would be a problem, but it's Brokey to take out Stewie. That is the site. Fallen has to go for it. He's going to rotate around. M4 to work with. Has no kit, just to note, as he does have a kill in the rounds. He's going to need three. It's going to have to be spectacular. Smoke has dissipated on top of the site, which means he has even less to work with. And as soon as he pulls out the flame,